Can a camera under $40 be just as capable as the pricier PoE versions? What kind of features can you get from a budget smart camera setup? If you're new to smart home cameras, it can be confusing. Do you go with PoE? Should I get it working with HomeKit Secure? Where does Frigate fit in and why would I even need it? And why do I need Home Assistant? Overwhelming, I know, but you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get started. In fact, you can take a cheap little camera like, oh, hold on, here, yeah, here we go here. Like this Wise camera and give it a premium makeover. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how. By the end, you're gonna see how this basic little camera can go pro and do more than a millimeter wave, motion, and ES presence sensor combined. Get excited. Here's the reality. Reolink, Amcrest, and other PoE cameras are powerful, but they're also a big commitment. Expensive hardware, cabling, and setup, it's a lot to take in. But what if you just wanna dip your toe into this smart camera waiting pool? Maybe you're like me and want premium camera features, but not willing to run ethernet cables through the walls and attics. This is where Scripted comes in. Think of it as a translator. It takes your budget camera feed and makes it work everywhere. HomeKit, Home Assistant, Frigate, Toaster. So if you thought you were stuck with using your camera's app or their walled garden features, perish the thought. Like a sheltered child going to college, you can experiment until you either have fond memories or deep regrets. And the great part about all of this is that you don't need crazy hardware. You can use a Raspberry Pi, a mini PC, like the one that I have back there, or your existing computer if you're starting naked. So to get started, installing Scripted is incredibly simple. I typically recommend one of two ways. If you're using Home Assistant and want to keep things extremely straightforward, you can install Scripted as an add-on. Here's a 30 second walkthrough. Go to Google, search for Scripted add-on Home Assistant GitHub, and you're gonna click on the link here for GitHub. Once you make it to this page, just install it. Once you get inside, it'll take you to Home Assistant where you can just add it as a repo. Once it's added, you can just click into it, say install, and once it's installed, start it, you're good to go. In the end, you should be able to access Scripted directly from within Home Assistant. For those of you with a more sophisticated setup and using tools like Proxmox, or basically share the same fear I have of single points of failure, you can install Scripted via a Docker container. This is my preferred method. If you don't know what Docker or Proxmox is, then this path is probably not for you. But for educational purposes, I'll quickly explain what this route means for your setup. Whether you have a physical computer like a mini PC or a virtualization, you're gonna need Docker installed on that machine so you can run the Docker file or Docker Compose if you have it. This will install everything you need to get scripted up and running. Now, the advantage of this is that Scripted is gonna be sandboxed away from your other services. By isolating Scripted, your entire system will stay up and running even if Scripted fails, and vice versa. One other benefit is that you can back up the instances individually, which lets you recover quickly without losing much data. Now, this is nerd territory, so approach with reckless abandon. Docker instructions are on Scripted's website. Now, once you're inside Scripted, you can install the WISE plugin. Now this is just for this type of camera and the cameras in this lineup. If you do want a WISE camera, just check the link in the description. That being said, I think this is a great time to mention three things. You don't need to use WISE. You can use some other cheap camera as long as you can find it within this plugin library. B, all the power you find in scripted is available for you to use with all the big players like Reolink, Ampress, all of them. So you don't have to think that this is for some frumpy dumpy tools and it's only good for like sloppy seconds. Now, lastly, subscribe. With the Wise plugin installed, you will need to get the key ID and the API key. These are really easy to get. Just click the link, log in, generate new keys, you're good. Now that your camera is connected, you can view the live stream here in scripted or you can use the Restream plugin, grab the RTSP link, and then create a generic camera within Home Assistant. Now at this point, you're technically done. What you do next is completely up to you and your imagination. Do you like using Apple Home? Install the HomeKit plugin. 
When enabled, you can add your camera directly to your Apple Home ecosystem. It's pretty sweet. Do you use Home Assistant? You can install the Home Assistant plugin, and when combined with Scripted's automation feature, you can trigger actions in your smart home based on events captured by Scripted. Again, pretty sweet. And maybe you're a tech enthusiast on a different dimension and want the full flexibility on how you integrate Scripted into your robust ecosystem. Install MQTT and perhaps the Webhook plugin. You can request and receive information using tools like Node-RED and N8N, and you can just go crazy. With Scripted, your camera gets a massive, massive upgrade because you can connect it with almost anything. And if you're like me, this probably blew your mind and it also raised a new question. Now what, right? I have all this power. What do you do with it? What can you build? I challenged myself to create a camera sensor that had all the major benefits of a motion sensor, millimeter wave sensor, and ES presence sensor. Using Scripted, I was able to connect my old camera to Frigate and Home Assistant. And this combo let me use computer vision to watch for motion in the office, detect if it's a person, and trigger the lights only if it was me. Scripted offers many things for you to choose from, and I get that it can be overwhelming. And, you know, I'm not trying to pile on to all of that, but I'm trying to add on to all of that. Adding AI takes it basically to a separate dimension and just molly wops your entire smart home telling you I'm getting excited and ahead of myself. Listen, I created a six part workshop that will napalm your mind. That's right. It's going to sizzle it up each day. I'll send you automation ideas and tactics. That's going to change the way you think about your camera based automations. The goal is by the end of the six days of this workshop, you're going to be inspired and empowered to build your own useful camera based automations. Don't worry. I say six days, but it doesn't take six literal days. I just broke it down into very small bite-sized chunks and I'm just gonna drip feed you over the six days. So, so don't worry if you think this is a big time commitment because it's not. And these automations are literally out of pocket. For example, one of the challenges in this workshop I give is to build a pantry assistant where you can take a picture of your fridge or pantry and your smart home should be able to figure out what meals it can make. I'm gonna give you all the tools to implement these ideas and so much more for yourself. That's just one of several of ideas that I mentioned in the six day workshop. And to help you build, I provided videos available only to pro community members and it's available to you, making it available to you. And I also provide scripts so you don't have to build these automations from scratch. You get to just shortcut and just jump to the good stuff. If you're interested, just click the link in the description and join the Tech Enthusiast community. That's where you're gonna find this workshop. It's free, you can go and check it out.